everyone, my name is Zainab Sabiki and I am the painter behind the Okamoka mural. So a friend actually forwarded me the call out for artists. I've had experience with painting murals, however, it was always a collaborative piece and painting my own mural is something that I always aspired to do. Okamoka, on their call out for artists, they had sort of a list of things that they had wanted in the painting. The main idea that sparked the whole illustration was a coffee cup. I thought, let's combine coffee and plants and flowers, and I thought that some color would add some, you know, livelihood to that. The budget was around three to four hundred dollars for materials because I had to clean the wall, paint it with a primer, then go over it in black, and then use high quality exterior acrylic paints and quality paints for the details and spray paint as well. When I talked to Okamoka, I was like, I have a general idea because, you know, I've done large paintings but never something this large. However, the design was something that I had simplified enough to where I knew that I could complete it within four days. I didn't expect it to really take that long with doing the details, but it did take a long time. I told them, expect it to take four to seven days. With some true grit, it did take around 16 to 18 hours to complete. I added a few more flowers to fill up the space because obviously when you vectorize it, it's slightly different than compared to in real life. And I filled it out to sort of even out the design. So I got it exactly like how I expected it to be. When I had started sketching it out, I was like, you know, this proportionately, it's a little too small and I need to sort of upscale it a little bit. So that was something unexpected. Also the great feedback while I was painting, I had so many people come stop by and ask, what are you doing? It looks wonderful. It was such an amazing way to paint and interact with community members since this was a painting for everyone that was in that area. I feel like that was my favorite part. Hearing it from people who actually are going to see it every single day was such a relief and so encouraging. I did get a few negative comments, but everyone should take some criticism and I appreciate their comments as well. I'm most pleased with how the florals turned out. I was a little nervous about the vibrancy because it was a black wall and I'm so proud to say that the colors are really vibrant and you can see it across the street and it's something that has livened up the place and that was something that I was really proud of and happy about. Honestly, since the mural's whole purpose is to bring community members together, family members, everyone together, I hope they recognize that not only does it welcome them, it welcomes just Maryland and even people who've never been to Arbutus before, I hope it sort of, it's like, welcome! Thank you so much for inviting me to create this mural for you guys. I'm so honored. It was honestly an amazing process and I really, really enjoyed it. I really hope that it makes you smile and that it's something that you guys are proud of and it showcases the wonderful community that our beauty is. I really appreciate it. Thank you.